I've ever seen in my life. What's up, everybody? The two people that are here. Whoop, whoop. How is everyone? How's everyone's Sunday? How's everyone's... I feel like the last time I went live was maybe... Maybe a week ago. Maybe more. Maybe less. Sorry, I was just trying to... I was making a short, a YouTube short, like, which are those, like, you know, short videos, just to see if making a short and linking, like, a related video would help or not. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like, is this helping me or am I just doing this for no reason? But you still got to do it. Okay. You still just have to do it. And that's what I just did. What's up? What's up? Oh my God. Hey. Ooh, I love your pepper profile photo. That's a, that's a new one. Okay. I'm just going to post this short really quickly being like going live, baby. Come join. Sorry. I'm just trying to do this YouTube live stream stuff. YouTube vertical. Oh, no, no. YouTube live stream. Okay. I post. I'm posting it right now. Oh, okay. Can I post it? Oh, I can't. Okay, good. Good. All right. We posted it. What's up? Is your, I don't think, I don't think my, I don't know if it's, it might be the lights. Oh wait, did that help or no? It might be the freaking lights. No. Is it the lights? Okay. Let me see if I can, is that better? It's probably still not because that one looks like, but this never happened. Maybe I have to make this brighter. One second. Oh Jesus. Is that better? Or does that make it worse? I'm like, is this good or not? Okay. So I'm doing like a really quick gel nail kind of thing. You don't think it's the lights? Now is it bad? Is it still bad? I just wiped the little... I feel like now, maybe now it's better. Thoughts? Now you can see the redness on my face. Are you you guys happy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You happy? Is that what you wanted to see? Okay, wait. What? I just dropped my... Okay, so the thing is, I got this gel kit. If you're new here, um, hi. I don't know. This has nothing to do with my channel. I just paint my nails sometime on, sometimes on YouTube Live because when you do, like, paranormal true crime stuff, how many, like, ghost spirit box lives am I gonna do? You know what I mean? Sometimes I just have to do the basic things that I do on Sundays. And it's not like a ritual that I do. But I just felt like, you know, a little self, a little self care as I'm like struggling so hard to even paint my nails. Um, and honestly, it's just probably going to give me more anxiety than I would have had. Try not using your finger, but no, <laughs> try not using. Okay. Um, <laughs> Here's a pillow. I'm like, I don't have like a little cloth right now, but but that is smart. I probably shouldn't use my finger on my camera and just like wipe it off and being like, oh yay, this is gonna be really clear now. By the way, I showered, that's why my hair is wet. I'm not like, you know, I didn't just like douse my hair in McDonald's french fries, though that does happen on YouTube Live, but that's more of like a Friday, Saturday night thing. Sunday night is more of like the cleanliness. I'm just, I obviously don't do that. Sometimes I, no, I'm just kidding. I'm like, no, I don't. What are you talking about? Okay. So Amira says, hi, I'm new. Hi, Amira. I don't even know what I, why am I singing? I don't know. I think I get nervous when I go live sometimes because I'm like, I'm like, what if I do something weird? My whole YouTube channel in general. I don't know why I would be worried about that, but here we are. We're doing it. Okay. But, okay, so this little gel kit comes with, okay, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. This gel kit, I don't know if you, okay, I guess I'm not supposed to hold it like that. It, it <laughs> they just keep pooping out. You know, those like little like Easter, <gasps> Easter's coming up. Not really, but maybe kind of ish. The stores think that it, like CVS, they think that it is. But you know, like those things that you like squeeze or like you do something and then like poop comes out like a cow and then it's like a chocolate egg and you're like, really? Like, who are they making this toy for? People like me, the ones that were just thinking of that as my nail polish fell through the styrofoam holes. Anywho, um, 
me and my sister had a friend growing up who lived in a house haunted by an old soldier. You could hear him marching up and down the hall and stairs. And one time, the stereo made a horrible sound. So we unplugged and kept... That's creepy. Yeah, I've never... Like, I don't know if this is good or bad. Probably good that my house isn't haunted. But I, I've done, like, a lot of ghost... Spirit box... Communi ghost communication... Lives. And in my hat like you know here and it doesn't really doesn't really do much unfortunately but i've also done some in the woods which have actually been pretty successful but you know i don't know i need to be better about like going out and doing that it just like takes me oh, i'm gonna get i'm starting to get emotional here i'm just kidding maybe but like it just takes a lot for me to like go live like i'm just not one of those people that are just always, I mean, it might sound like I'm always in a chipper mood, but I'm not. This is me, like, I don't know, 10% of the time. <laughs> so it's really, it's a hit or miss with the lives. Like, I have to be, that, that's why I posted this, like, 10 minutes before I went live. It's because I usually can't just, like, if I schedule something and be like, I need to go live, I guess I should just, <sighs> I don't know. Now I'm, like, getting caught up in my head. I'm like, maybe, I, oh my god, I don't even have the base coat with me. I don't think I do unless it was one of the ones that were pooped out like a cow. Like the cow Easter. Jesus. I No, this is the top coat, but I need the base coat. And I don't. How do I have every other polish here that came with this kit? Which, by the way, you probably can't see. Actually, you definitely can't see. So it's probably not making a lot of sense. But like, okay, look. So it comes with like a perfect amount in this one. Now that one's gone. And then it came with a perfect amount in this one, but of course, actually it's missing two. Interesting. It's missing two, one of them being the base coat. Jesus. Well, maybe it's a sign that I shouldn't paint my nails, that it's going to give me... Oh, wait, is this it? I'm like, all of a sudden I'm excited. <gasps> yes! Best day ever! Base coat. Okay, everybody. Base coat. We got it. We're still we're grooving. We're moving. We're doing it. We're whatever. Okay. So first things first, <laughs> like not a beauty channel. I'm not a nail channel at all, clearly. But I just, you know, I think it's therapeutic to do things while, I don't know. It's like, you know, when, when people in class would doodle and then, like, everyone to the teacher would be like, well, it actually improves our focus when we doodle. And then the teacher would be like, really? Source that. Or, like, cite your source. And you would be like, Wikipedia, bitch. You know that? That's what I feel like this is. It's like, I'm doodling. But I'm doing my nails and I'm just chatting. Because why not? You know? But the filing, I know a lot of people don't like that noise, so I don't want to be too... I filed most of my nails before this, but I just wanted to just wanted to do a little touch up here. A little touch up on the cam. Also, is it weird that like, okay, wait. Now I could do both because now you can see me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like it's gonna fall and not be fun. Okay. Ah, it almost fell. Okay. Is that better? Does not sound like it's better. Does not look like it's better. Maybe. No, probably not. It's okay. That's fine. It's like it's like bothering me. I have to be like in the middle. Okay. Um, did I just drop? No, here's my base coat. Okay. I don't think you could see this, but this is my little gel manicure thing. This is the base coat, which you're supposed to just paint, I guess. And then you're supposed to do 60 seconds on each hand. Okay? 60 seconds, 60 seconds. I just wanted to speak like my mom, a New Yorker, that my mom says oranges instead of oranges, which is totally fine. It gives it a little character, but every time, it's like, so I'm so mean. Every time she says oranges, I just can't help but to repeat it. Like, I, I literally just automatically say oranges every time. I can't stop. It's not even, it's not just the word orange. It's like, she says banana. And I'm like, what do you think you're, you know, from the UK? I don't even think they say that. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I mean. 
Oh my God, E, thanks for the stickers. $2.99 a month to be a member on the channel to get the exclusive vlogs that I post, to get those little fun stickers, to get to, I don't know, what else can you do? I don't know, you could do whatever. Once, once you're a member of this channel, you, there's, it's endless. The op, the opportunities are endless. Okay, so right now I'm just, I think I'm curing the polish. I think that's what I'm doing. Also, are these lights kind of annoying? Like, I feel like these two, the fact that they're constantly blinking, might be annoying. But maybe that's just when I hyper fixate on those two things that I'm like, yeah, that's annoying. Maybe, like, no one notices it until I point it out and then everyone's like, yeah, why'd you point it out? I heard Xenu twerks for the members. I also heard that, that he does that. By the way, if you don't know who Xenu is, which hmm, it's very unfortunate for you, and if you are here and you're not a subscriber already, hit that darn subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Are you not convinced enough? What do I have to do, okay? What do I have to do to convince you to join this, to, to uh, subscribe to this channel and be part of the cauldron convo community i i loved how i enunciated every c in that sent cauldron convo community that was too much <laughs> we're not oh i was gonna make a bad joke about being the ccc but i'm just i mean i kind of made the joke but i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna leave it at that with the cauldron convo community the ccc that's it okay i did that i cured this nail or whatever it's called. Wait, I could have been painting. Oh no, I couldn't have. I have two hands. I can't. It's not like I have an, I'm an octopus and I can paint my other hand while this one's in here. <sighs> you know what? Okay, this is efficient. Now I'm acting like Ford and I'm doing an assembly line. If you had two people that both had to paint their nails every Sunday night with gel nails, one could paint one hand, then the other would put their thing in the UV light well, the other, I don't know. I thought that that would help having multiple hands. Or you could just go to a nail salon and not be cheap like I am. You know, you can actually like treat yourself to something nice and relax. Actually, but sometimes the nail salon is very stressful, to be honest. Which is so ironic because like a nail salon is supposed to do the opposite for you. It's supposed to literally be relaxing. Hello? Is someone here? I'm like, is there a ghost down here? Um, okay, but we got to figure out what color. Is it gross to put this in my mouth and screw it on with my teeth? But I don't have another hand. Okay, wh what do you want me to... What do you think? There's someone down here that's going to help me? Okay, now I'm like, this is definitely going to be used against me one day in court. <laughs> They're going to be like, she is unhinged. She bites the base coat of her gel manicure bottles and turns it with her teeth. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, but I gotta figure out what color I wanna do. Because I used to be into like fun colors, like a blue. I used to be into fun colors like a green. I used to be into fun colors like a post Chipotle meal. But, uh, sorry. Sometimes I feel like I deserve more laughs than I get. Anyway, um. <laughs> But honestly, I'm I'm kind of over the purples. I'm kind of over the blues. But but is that just because I think it's like society? Because I think it's like society. Like is that because because I'm like oh no, no one wants to wear those anymore. I'm not twelve. But it's like if I want to, why wouldn't I? But I don't really want to. I guess that's why I didn't do it. Anyway, moving on. I'm trying to find like a, okay, what about like a nice, like a light pink? But then I'm like, is this too close to my skin color? I feel like we're getting a little close to my skin color. But I feel like green, like if I'm walking in to like a bakery, which I really hardly ever do. So I don't know why I'm saying this is as a scenario. But if I walked into a bakery with green nails, like that would just look, I don't know. I feel like I would just look which like who cares but at the same time i don't know i feel like i need something like bland even though i don't know is this like too bland hmm there's also okay 
Like, who wants a gray color? No one. Like, who put a gray color on their nails and was like, this is a good idea? Like, girl, were you digging in a charcoal? No, wait, charcoal's black. Were you digging in an ashtray? Like, what do you... Sorry, now I'm judging people for their nail nail colors. Who do I think I am? Okay, I think I I think out of all of these colors, I would either rather do this one or this one. I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, hmm. Maybe this one. I don't know. It's so hard. Okay, I've got to stop being indecisive. I gotta just commit to it. But also a purple nail. Like, I haven't done a purple nail in a while. Oh, but what? Wait, what's today? Oh, Valentine's Day is not for, like, two weeks. I have time. I was going to say, like, if it's, if it's Valentine's you, you know, you got to go with the themes of the holidays. That's just what you have to do sometimes. I'm just going to commit to this one just to see what it looks like. Maybe next week I'll do a purple or something more, like, out there. But this week I'm boring. But they do have, well, we could do a design. I just noticed what these were. These are like little angels and moons, I think. Green, best color ever. That's like me not liking shorter hair and being too indecisive. So now I have hair like Jesus. <laughs> I need a haircut, but I don't know what to do. Could probably do like a two-tone free gray, but I'm weird. Huh, interesting. That's true. But I would, uh, do you have a Pinterest? Because sometimes I go on Pinterest and I try to figure out the hair stuff. But then I end up like going balls to the wall and getting bangs. And then I have these things that don't like I never actually style and use. And I just kind of like push off and pretend like they're not there. So I know that probably didn't help you with your indecisiveness, but <laughs> I just had to say it. I just had to say, it. okay, I don't know if this color is going to look great on me. Probably not, I would say. It's kind of interesting that gel nails, like, don't need to dry. I think that's why I like gel nails especially, because it's, like, I can't sit still enough, long enough, to actually let nails dry before they become all, like, messed up. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just, I'm too impatient. Like, I, I think they're dry. Like, even at a nail salon, like, when I do go to the nail salon or when I did, I would just be like, okay... Are they done? Like, and then they would like rub oil on my toes and I would be like, this is interesting. And they would put like a plastic wrap on it, saran wrap, which like honestly, good, thank God for them because I would have left with smudged paint every time. Um, but yeah, I'm just very impatient with things like that. Like, I'm like, why would I have to let paint dry? Literally, it's watching paint dry, you know? Like, we, we have laptops that like you can use an artificial intelligence to write a whole paper slash script slash literally anything for you, but we don't have a tool to make paint dry faster. I guess we do now. Oh, I just like <laughs> broke it. <laughs> I guess we do now. I'm like sponsored. I'm like the Sun X5 Max Nail Lamp. I don't even know like if this is, I don't know if UV light is bad for you. It probably is, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta, there's only so much you can do to live a healthy lifestyle. You know what I mean? It's like, that's why I really believe that everything is about balance because it's like, how could you eat healthy all the time? How could you like use products that are, have like things in them that are not gonna kill you? Like, how can you? I don't know. Now I'm like drawing. Okay. I feel like I have this on too much of a setting where it's taking kind of a little bit too long, but here's the color. It's probably too similar to my skin tone, but whatever. We're moving on. Hello, LMAO. Are you the, uh, by chance, are you the band? Wait, is it LMAO or LMFAO? I think it's LMFAO. By chance, are you that band? <sighs> Finally, I took a breather. Anyway, I have an MRI tomorrow and I'm like really just not feeling, I've never had an MRI in my life, which like I never had anesthesia until last year. So it's not, you know, I just never did normal. 
I don't know how to say it. Like I never broke a bone. I never had surgery. I never did this. I never did that. Whatever. Until, I mean, last year I had two surgeries. Technically I went under, I went under anesthesia. Um, but now I have to get an MRI for the first time. And I'm like, I really, like, I think I am pretty claustrophobic, but I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm psyching myself out more than I need to. And I feel like if no one told me that I was going to be potentially claustrophobic, I wouldn't have gone into it doing that. But because now I know that so many people like need like, like, you know, medication or prescription pills to even go into the machine. Now I'm like, oh my God, I can't do it. So yeah, I'm kind of stressing about that. That's in the morning. I have to go tomorrow morning and get an MRI. And I'm like, really, really? Do I need to do that? Do I need to really do that? Um, okay. I'm still painting my nails. This is like perfect time. I'm like doing this. I'm doing that. I'm checking my timer because I do have to leave in six minutes and 30 seconds specifically. Um, it's not bad at all. I've had a couple. Just think of the crazy ass science that's happening. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I just have like this weird thing. I guess a lot of people have it. Or like if I'm going into something that's like an enclosed space, I like, I don't know. I don't, like, I think like, I just don't like the idea of being buried alive. Obviously, I don't know who is like, yeah, I love that idea. <laughs> but I don't know. It's like, I guess it's not gonna, the machine isn't like a tanning bed that closes. Cause I, one time in my entire life, I went to a tanning booth, but it was the one that closes while you're standing. It's not like a freaking coffin of UV, ow, I just hit myself. It's not like a coffin of skin cancer where you're like, bye, good night. Um, it's the one that you stand in. <laughs> um, so I wasn't that terrified of it then, but I think, and I don't mean to be like, I'm so old, but like, as I get older and older, I get like more and more freaked out about the, like the dumbest things. Like, I don't know, like, I, like even roller coasters. I mean, I'll go on any, anyone, any of them, but like, I think about it way too much versus when I was younger, I used to just go for it. So I don't know what happened. Like, what happened? Why? Why? Are you serious? I'm Jesse. <laughs> Wait a second. Laruka, I'm just seeing your comment. Oh my god. Wait, are you serious? There's metal in this? I know I have to take out my like earrings and such, but what? Oh my God. Thank God for your existence because can, they didn't say that though. Can I wear nail polish in an MRI? Nail polish met, contain met, met, metallic particles should be removed if applied to the area of the body undergoing. Oh, okay. Um, I think my... Hmm. I think my MRI is like, you know, if you've been in the sun long enough to get a tan, you far surpass the amount of sun needed to get your vitamin D and are just damaging your skin at that point. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, you just had an MRI? Oh, crap. Okay. I definitely won't wear makeup, but I didn't think that because I think, I think it's just like, I don't think my hand arms are going to be in it, but wait, what? Oh my God. Oh my God. Did I really just, <laughs> well, <laughs> thank God. I thank God you were here. They didn't tell me that though. But, but like, I would like to not wear it even if it's like, well, it might be okay. Like, is it just going to impact the results or is it going to like kill me? <laughs> Wait, what if I can't get my rings off? If you need an MRI and unable to remove your wedding ring, it's important to inform they may have encountered similar situations. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess I only did one coat, so I guess I could probably just quickly peel it off. But oh my god, that's crazy. That's so funny. Good thing I went live. Thank you, Laruka. Thank you for saying I mean, I don't know what would have happened, but yeah. <laughs> that's wild though. Yeah, I'm, I don't know how I feel about the MRI. 
I'm like, you know what? This is how I have to look at it. I'm grateful that I live in a country slash place slash whatever that I have the opportunity to even get an MRI slash have the opportunity as well as health insurance to get an MRI and not like pay for it out of pocket. So I'm trying to remind myself of that every time I think about how much of a little, I want to say, kitty cat I am about like going into an enclosed machine, even though the front part is open. But uh, I was scared of being locked in there too. They played relaxed music and the nurses were so nice. That's the spirit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you so much. I know. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. Like certain things I really don't like feel scared about with like doctor. I don't know. I guess when it's the first time for anything, like now I feel like someone could put me under anesthesia and I'm totally fine with it. But I literally a few months ago had like a huge fear of it until I got, I had to go under anesthesia. And then I was like, I can do this all the time. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean? So maybe it's just like, you know, you got to rip the bandaid off and just do it, which I guess I'm going to do. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I need a, yeah, I know. I need to like fix, like I need to fixate on the gratitude part of it because like even, I mean, one, just like where I live and having healthcare, but also like the time period that we, I mean, as in like, when was the MRI even invented? Like not that long ago, I feel like. When was the MRI machine invented? 1972. Like, that's not that long ago. Like, my parents were born before that. So that's kind of just, like, weird. Like, my grand... Or, I don't know, maybe your grandparents didn't have it, um, like, an MRI machine or didn't have the ability to go into one until they were, like... I don't know, a while in. So the nurses and technicians know people get nervous for MRIs and are so kind. You're, you'll do great. Thank you. I know. I have a feeling that they it'll be fine. I think I'll tell them. I, I always do this where I like tell them how nervous I am or like how I feel about it beforehand, which is actually, I guess it's a strength of mine. I mean, some would argue that it's a weakness and at sometimes I would say that it's a weakness because I show my hand like, oh, I'm so scared or whatever. But at the same time, I'm like not afraid to be like, oh my God, I'm such a little asshole. Like I am so scared right now to go into this machine. And I would say that to them and not like be scared to say that. So I don't know. <laughs> That's just how I'm trying to feel. But I'm also reading that the person who invented the first nuclear magnetic Res re resonance resonance scanning machine was Armenian and I'm half Armenian so I like that I th I'll think of him thank you Raymond Vahanda Marian <laughs> thank you for the opportunity to get an MRI <laughs> I just have to think of him channel it channel the energy when I'm there um but <laughs> the nurses oh yeah Thank you. Thank you so much for sending positivity. Yeah, I'm ass I'm assuming that a lot of people are, well, yeah, a lot of people are probably scared of something like this or just like surgery or whatever. So I will be great and I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm going to end this live because I'm like worried that I'm not supposed to be wearing this and I should probably take this off. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys for being here. And I'll keep you guys posted on how it went. Um, I'll see you guys hopefully this week. I'll do another live that's like, maybe I'll do it tomorrow after my MRI. Who knows, okay? Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow or the next day or sometime this week. Bye.